We're in uh, kind of a two-room laboratory suite here, and uh, so this large room that we're in now is called the uh, Materials uh, Fabrication Lab. And so in this room, we're able to uh, basically lay down uh, films of different materials. And uh, the room behind me over there is the nano characterization lab. In that room, we do things like measure uh, nanoscale properties, nanometer scale properties of different materials and structures, and, uh, and including um, micro machine devices as well. This is really where the future is going. In fact, if you look at it, a lot of the different disciplines at the edges, at the, re at the edges, they're pulling in these ideas from nanomaterials, advanced materials. And so being able to move in that area ultimately is really is good for the whole college. The students that come through this are getting uh, top-notch education in, uh, with multidisciplinary training. So they're coming through, they're not only getting engineering skills, they're getting skills with chemistry, they're getting skills in the laboratory. And so we've got our students using tools and equipment uh, instrumentation that really aren't accessible to students normally, especially not undergraduate students. This is a prime example of giving students that practical knowledge and hands-on experience. We're down here making nano devices. We're down here making nanoparticles and seeing, all right, we can put them to use here. Well, let's tweak that a little bit and how else can we possibly make them better or better implement them. To be able to do the experiments, to be able to uh, pursue the classes, they're learning things that they would not normally learn. We have had students that when they graduate, they're able to say, I've, I've operated an atomic force microscope. And there's not many people who are applying to graduate schools or to uh, jobs that can say that. And so it shows a level of responsibility as well as a technical skill. 